Hi, this is James Varney with NOLA.com, the Times Picune, and I am here with James Parker from WRNO. And uh, something of a tragic tale for us today, two guys in the backyard talking about the what could be the imminent collapse of the Benson Empire. It's a shame when you see something like that, I think. Is it a collapse? I think it's just like getting steered on a different course. Yeah, to a law firm's account as opposed to their own, most likely. Okay, but here's here's the thing. Um, the, the whole exchange and the fact that it's going to court actually started like three weeks ago when he tried to move a bunch of money out of the trust and ownership stake out of the trust and the trustee said no he may not be able to change are you talking about the tro in texas which is separate from the lawsuit that's been filed by the the grandchildren and the tro t a temporary restraining order that the texas judge said you can't mess with this trust Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, 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 that's Very getting later confusing. down the line. When you have billions, you get confusing legal problems. Look, too. he set up these trusts starting right. in the early 90s, and he's been putting slowly leaking stuff in there. And in 2009, it reached the tipping point to where the ownership stake and the Pelicans, the Saints, the car dealerships, and Fox 8 here in uh, mm -hmm. New Orleans. That's an empire. Majority stake is now put in that trust, which is heired to his daughter and to grandchildren right no he's moving it to gail his can't wife. do it if it's an irrevocable trust he can't do it he just tried to move stuff out of it earlier in uh, january and the trustee said no the trustee blocked it and if you look at trust law he may not be able to do this and that's the whole point of an irrevocable trust when you're when you're in your mid-60s you set these things up so if you get a little daffy later in life no one can talk you out of it and swindle you out of what was your true intentions for well, you. what if you get a little daffy in middle life like us maybe we ought to be setting up irrevocable trusts. i don't have enough stuff to put in a trust yeah I, you're not a benson are you no one needs a 2006 car in a, in do you a trust think, do you think there's any way this hurts the saints i don't mean in terms of wins and wins and losses i mean in terms of them staying in new orleans absolutely because we don't know what's what it's gonna well that's a bad thing up. i mean i'm bummed out about that i want to have a team i i think it's more likely to stay in New Orleans, yeah, that's if, true. If, if if it uh, if the trust holds and it is irrevocable and it still goes through the daughter and the two grandchildren, I think we got a better shot. But I, we may still stay stay here if uh, Gail gets it. Well, I, I hope either way it does stay here. And it's just I think it's just a shame to see a sloppy mess like this with another rich and famous family falling into ruin. But so goes the world. <laughs> <laughs>